This is not going to last very long. Um, we're going to be in the throes of this wave of infection for maybe a month. Here in the Northeast, I think you're going to see infections peak out within the next two weeks. So hopefully New York City does find a peak within the next two weeks. London, which is about two to three weeks behind New York City, has already peaked and is probably on the way down. So this is a very fast-moving wave of infection. On the back end of this, hopefully we're done with COVID for a while. We'll have enough immunity in the population between vaccination or infections. So we really need to get through this month. I think in terms of the schools, the prerogative very clearly needs to be to try to open the schools. I think if you keep the kids in very strict pods, social pods, you can control the risk that there's going to be outbreaks in that setting. And that's really the goal. You're not going to be able to avoid introductions into that setting. There will be infections introduced into the school house setting in such a dense wave like we're having right now. But you want to avoid outbreaks in the school. And I think you could do that keeping kids in strict social pods. That's probably the single best intervention. The other one would be routine testing. And even now, and it's frustrating, schools still don't have access to routine testing and using yeah. test to stay strategies in the schoolhouse. OK, so let's assume your school doesn't do any testing, doesn't require any testing, doesn't have it available, and isn't really isolating in pods. You know, you've still got classrooms there, and they're three feet apart instead of six feet apart. They're going to be eating inside and masking up in between bites, which just, again, is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What do you do for the next month? You just send your kid and wish for the best? Well, I think that's the position a lot of parents are in, quite frankly. I think you could test your child at home, um, try to avoid introducing the infection back into the home. The kids are at children are at lower risk overall, except for young toddlers who I think face higher risk with an upper respiratory infection like the one we're dealing with in this Omicron. But schools can try to keep kids separated. We're talking about a couple of weeks, two or three weeks here in the Northeast, that this is really going to be epidemic. Schools are reopening, you know, right in the throes of the peak of this epidemic wave here in the Northeast. I think you can keep kids in strict social pods for a short duration of time if you know it's going to be a short duration of time. It is somewhat disruptive to do that, but it's possible, depending on the physical plan of the school. And this, this epidemic probably is going to pass through the country over the course of the next month by February. By some point in February, most parts of the, of the country will be through it. Um, not every part of the country has been touched by it yet. The Mid-Atlantic region and Northeast are having very dense waves. Florida is, parts of the Pacific Northwest. Other parts will lag, but this will move very quickly. Um, from peak to peak in other countries, Omicron swept through in less than two months. Hey, Scott. Uh, Happy New Year. Two questions, uh, one very practical, and the other is sort of a larger policy question. Uh, the practical question is that we just had the CEO of Planet Fitness on, uh, and he said that people are coming to gyms. Uh, he encourages them to come to gyms. He thinks that's the best way for them to stay healthy. Would you go to an indoor gym uh, in an environment where Omicron or, Del or, 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 or COVID period right now uh, is ramping up? Look, I think a lot of people have been taking precautions for two years and are frustrated and tired. And so you're seeing people throw in the towel. I don't think this is the time to let up your vigilance if you've been careful and trying to avoid this infection for legitimate reasons. Uh, to date, because we really hopefully have just a month of this very dense epidemic wave. This infection is everywhere. This is widespread. I think we're picking up a, a fraction of the cases that are occurring. I wouldn't be surprised if we're only picking up close to one in 10 infections. So this is an epidemic that's being driven by people who have mild infection or asymptomatic infection, don't suspect they're infected and are going about their business. So I wouldn't be going out right now. I'd be careful the next two or three weeks. I think this is going to be a short lived, very fast epidemic here in the Northeast. And we're going to be on the back end of this. We're going to be starting to get on the back end of this in a couple of weeks.